tutorial. Today the topic we are going to see is generators in Python with demo how what are, what are the generators in Python and how to use and with some examples and the demonstration on Python IDA 3.8. In the previous session I explained about uh, the map reduce functions with the help of dictionary and so on. So map reduce filter, I hope that you understand. Today this session we are going to see here. What? The, uh, today the session definitely helpful to learn the following topics that is what are the generators in python some of the advantages of using by generators and normal what are the difference between normal function generator functions we need and so on and generators with loops and generator with numbers so what are generators the question is a generator function or generators so both are similarly is a function is defined like a normal function which returns generator iterator with the help of yield keyword so whenever whenever the function with come with yield keyword that is considered as a generator concept and also if the body of the definition contains yield the function automatically becomes a generator example g1.py let us have for i have a small program here due to time save i already have a program so generator one where it have a follow up yield i automatically generate if you want to generate some series people know your bottom there once you start a series it go and develop the so i'm going to write a program a python script here definition space simple generator from shop then I am going to write the keyword yield1, yield2, yield3 and so on and driver code. So I am going to write the driver code for value in simple generator function of print of value. So when I now try to execute the statement, what will screen, what will happen means it going to generate the numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let's check it. Yeah. So it is a series, 1, 2, 3 continuously. So like that we can use generators with the help of yield keyword. Moreover we can uh, go for next keyword also sometime if you use next keyword it will help you to generate the next one. Python ideally, ideally not supporting properly so we have to write again uh, in the ideally next of this function name it give means it go and print some value. Okay. Then go for next one. So now the code. Advantage of generators. What are the advantage of generators? Because the thing is without generators in python producing iterables is extremely difficult lengthy and also you can say generators are easy to implement as they are automatically implement iterator underscore next stop and stop iteration which, which otherwise need to be exploited and also memory is saved as the items are produced as when required unlike normal python functions this also considered as the biggest advantage of generators so here memory also saved here and always it uh, support and implement the iterate method and the next method here and last we can say it can be used to produce an indefinite number of items for example if you generate a multiplication table what happens you can do it generate with the help of generators only continuously display what are the number given now the question is what are the general difference between norm, number from normal function to generate function so in the previous section I explained what are function how to use functions like that and uh, recursion also let's go over here generally the generator function contains one or more yield statement and also when call it returns an object or iterator but it does not start execution immediately remember and also methods like iterator next are implemented automatically so we can iterate through the items using next operation next one next method once the function yields the function is passed and the control is transferred to the caller local variables and their states are remembered between successive calls and finally when the function terminates stop iteration is raised automatically on the further calls so let's go for the pro some of the program with the example there we can understand these all points. Now the question, now we are going to see here generators with loops, loops and the generators with functions. So here the loop also help iterate over the objects and after all implementation it executes a stop iteration. For example you can go for the program called g2.py and I see here generator expressions. It can also use expressions along with the for loop to produce iterators and also usually make the generation iterables much easy and also it resembles list comprehension and uh, like lambda functions generator expressions create anonymous generator functions also so remember we are going to now we are going to see the g2.py and our program called g3.py so here generating when you want to generate expressions you can use the list concept list comprehensive so what are the list for example the range or list you give 10 means up to 10 it will go and produce the answer so let's go for the program called g2.py and execute Practical demonstration G2 G1 and closing here. G, sorry, not G3, G, G2. G2, okay. Here, 
So I have a program Python script here. I'm going to write a function called myGenar. Then I'm initializing n equal to one and print this is printed value and yield n. Then I'm going to use another one n plus equal to one, similar to C programming. N plus one equal to means n is equal to n plus one. So it's going to add the other number. So it's print a solid. The n will become two now. And so on again, I'm giving the yield. So it's going to generate the three zeros. So now I can use for loop for iterating all the variables. So for item in my generation, then print of item. So when I go like this, it go and print this all the print uh, print statements as well as number. There's a n value. We are initializing n is equal to one. If you want in the runtime, you can give two also. Let's go for see the output. So simple and easy concept to find the generators. Python soft automatically uh, automatically here, and you can use next whenever you want. Yeah. The above program successfully executed, so it's printing this is printed one, and the n value become two first time one and become two, and n value become three. So like that, it generates the output here. So like that, it is the loops with the Python with the loops generate concept. Then go for next one, g3 dot py, where I'm going to give range of right, range of eight. Then I'm going to use a list comprehension list comprehension of comma end. Then I'm going to give b is equal to x plus two for x in a. And also print a b. So whether x in a or not, then it go and take. It also print the values and add x plus two value. For example, take start from two. It will two plus two four like that. Print start from two and four six and so on. Then it is it will generate with the help of print the expression comma end. Then c is equal to x plus two for x in a and print of c. Then for y in c print of y. So at last it go and generate the series. Let go for see the output here. So just I'm going to give be x plus two for x in here. Then I'm again giving another expression same c is equal to x plus two for x in here like that. So see the output here. Yeah. So successfully exit. So here is the list comprehension was two to nine because I give eight no start from like that. Two to nine and it add by default one, two plus three one, three plus one four, four plus five one five and so on. At last generating the output called two to nine values. So because I given eight here now, so like that in use. List comprehension method with the generate expression. So just close it. Let's go for next one. The last program here. Next, generating Fibonacci series. It's possible to generate Fibonacci series. Yeah, possible. So in Python, it uh, you know is a series of numbers wherein each number is a sum of preceding two numbers. The first numbers are zero and one. You know zero and one, and the second time plus third time and fourth time and fifth time like that. So let's go for example here g4 dot py. At last, we go for generate numbers. In case you want generate specific list numbers, you can do it with using generate function. So at last, we have program g5 dot py. Print the even numbers between particular intervals. So first, to go for Fibonacci series. So simple and easy. Here, I'm writing the function called. Uh, so you know, difference if you work. Then first comma initializing. First comma second is equal to zero comma one while two. If for condition true, yield first. If condition true, then first comma second equal to I'm writing second comma first plus second. Adding the elements, first element, second element, and so on. Then I'm going to use a for loop here for x in Fibonacci. Then if x greater than 30, break. Print x comma n is equal to open inverted comma close inverted comma. So here I'm giving the maximum that is x greater than 30. So whenever the x reach the value of 30, uh, up to 30, it go and generate the Fibonacci series. Whenever reach 30, it will stop the process. So here first statement initially uh, true, then it go and yield the first statement zero, and first comma second equal to giving second, then first plus second so zero plus one one, and again it go and uh, check the for loop, so iterating up to the last. Uh, Generate and uh, give the output here, so it go and uh, execute the program script here. So it will generate up to the 30. What are the Fibonacci values? That is 011. Yeah, successfully executed. 011 followed by 235, 8, 13, 21 like that. So up to 30. What are the Fibonacci series is that it is generating? So let's go for the fifth one. Sorry, very simple program where you want to print the interval. So you know already range operator and range function. So here I'm going to use, I'm going to initialize a is equal to range of two comma ten comma two. That means in between even numbers between two to ten, I want to print that two four six eleven. And I'm going to loop here. So b is equal to x for x in a. Then go and check elements there and print a b. Then for y in b, print a y. 
so simple program so just uh, generators uh, generating the numbers between the intervals of 2 to 10 with the help of this concept let's go for execution so range of 2 comma 10 comma 2 so it won't print the numbers no need of expression and a function like that complications here yeah so it created the generator of object and uh, series successfully 2 4 6 8 these are the uh, even numbers between the 2 to 10 series so 2 4 6 8 and so on I hope that you understand this concept what are the generators and how you can use your generator, generator with the uh, python concept where you can how to implement with the help of uh, generating uh, viponic series and uh, numbers and so on thank you for watching this video please subscribe come on in the post box here channel and stay connected with the social media thank you